So you can see here Zima Blade, the board manufacturer is Icewell Technology and 8 GB RAM is already installed here. I'll just go here to the advanced and the CPU configuration and I'll make sure that the virtualization is enabled. You can see here that Intel virtualization technology is enabled. 1100 megahertz is the CPU speed. 64 bit is supported and in the boot volume you can see here that Debian, MMC and Kingston. So I'll be just disabling the MMC here. So this MMC I'll disable and Debian also I'll disable. The SSD which I have attached it has the Windows installed so I will definitely remove Windows and I'll install Proxmox V into it and I'll go here save and save and exit. Alright so there is the Zima boot and I'll be just going to boot order choosing the first boot order which is the SanDisk. So let us reboot now. Alright so here the Proxmox virtual environment is loaded so I'll be just going for the terminal installation. Right. So we begin the installation now. Agree to the terms and conditions. Internal MMC disk and here I have 120 GB SSD which is Kingston so I'll be installing the operating system on this. And here I can also use the swap partition here. You can see here that total size is 111 so I'll be choosing 8 GB because 8 GB is the primary memory and 8 GB will be swapped. So okay and then next. So it has detected my current location because of network which was already connected and the keyboard layout is also connected so I'll be typing yes. So root password again and my administrator email. So here I'll be choosing pve2.synprix.com as my fully qualified domain and this one will be 192.168.100.3 and this one also will be 100. One and this will be of course again Android get will address it's fine so let's stop. Alright, so now the installation is completed and system is rebooting and I can simply remove uh, the USB flash disk. And now you can see here that Rubsmooks has started. 192.168.100.3 colon 8006 and here you can see that I am also logged in to another server so same thing goes for this also you can see the summary here one node is there and in data center only one PV is available and here this is called PVE2 and here it is PVE so these are two nodes right now so of course I need to create the cluster of this. So in next video I'll show you how we can make the cluster and how we can connect them together.